Wella, 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 welcome back. I don't smoke doobies and I don't sell crack. No, just kidding. Uh, this is uh, the 50 point inspection. We got uh, Litherman's Limited. And this is the pills to pay the bills. Yes, it's a Beastie Boys referenced um, brew. And uh, I'll just read the back here and I'll talk a little bit about uh, Litherman's Limited. But this, this beer does come in at 4% ABV. It is an American Pilsner. So Pills to Pay the Bills is a classic American Pilsner brewed with both Magnum and Saz hops to create a clean, dry, and refreshing beer. So get off your ass and fill your glass up to the top to the very last drop. Uh, Litherman's Limited, uh, I haven't really talked too much about the brewery themselves. So I've showcased various beers I've had over the uh, years from them. But uh, their story, it all started, like the universe, with music. 2004, Friendship is Born. Doc Jones and MHP met while stuck in the same orange box for different reasons. They found themselves comparing notes on no effects, white trash, two heaves, and a bean, and decided to continue the conversation over a pint. 2004 to 2006, Music and Brew. Soon they were recording hip-hop tracks together in Doc's home studio. They called their band Litherman's Load, an archaic, archaic phrase for carrying too much at once, in reflection of how they felt trying to fit uh, recording times into their already busy schedules, schedules, especially after they dis, especially after they discovering another mutually shared interest, home brewing. Might have been a mistype in there. 2006-2012 uh, Homebrew Awards. Over the years, the home brewing started replacing uh, making music more and more, and their brewing skills started getting recognized as they started stacking awards from local New England homebrew festivals. 2014, a plan is made. In time, they had a following of supporters encouraging them to go into business. They eventually built a collection of chart-topping recipes and had created a solid gold business plan. 2016, grand opening. The big day finally happens. We started small but are quickly uh, well summed by, I think it's supposed to be welcomed by an overwhelming uh, amount of support from both the craft beer and local business communities and from 2016 to present expansions and more awards in the five years since opening Litherman's Limited has expanded 400 percent in size and capacity Litherman's has also won 16 awards for their beers and six for the brewery itself including recently renamed again as best brewery in New Hampshire magazine in the 2021 capital area readers poll so congratulations um yeah that just recently occurred so congratulations to litherman's uh, limited uh they do make some fantastic brews uh different ones sours are always always seem to be great absolutely love their sours i've sent those out to a few people to try as well and i've heard, heard uh, nice feedback from anybody that's had it so Let's uh, go ahead and crack into this one, though. Uh, this is a an American Pilsner, like I said, and you got to put it in the proper type. I don't have a Pilsner glass, but you know, a regular uh, tumbler will work. This one's a Smutty Nose, so a giant brewery in New Hampshire. Smutty Nose, one of the oldest, um, still going. I think they just had like their 26th anniversary or something like that. Um, so, all right, We're pouring it. All right, the uh, head on this, it is white, very white, very white. Um, there's lots of small kind of compact bubbles, some uh, bubbles that are starting to grow from that small to medium to large. So a little bit of a frothy to rocky head, I would say. I mean, this thing is definitely straw. That is straw colored right there. Very, very, very clear. Uh, you can see some of the carbonation kind of flowing up through. Uh, 
it's a beautiful looking beer for sure um, as far as a, a pilsner I mean this thing looks more or less like I don't know if you poured like Bud Light or something into your glass let's get into some aromas lots of um, the hops coming through uh, Saws, it's kind of it's got that noble esque type thing going. It's a bit spicy, um, a little bit lemon esque as well. And that damn fruit fly um, loves my beers almost as much as I do. Bready, uh, it's got a, a light bready malt character, a little bit on the cracker side as well, kind of two tone malt. But yeah, the uh, the hops jump right off, right off from the get go. Um, kind of like I said, lemony and uh, zesty, herbal zesty. Um, very nice. Um, smells like a really, really good pilsner. Four percent. Go wrong with that. Cheers. Let's dig into this one. It's a light to uh, light side, medium body on this one. Carbonation is, it's in the medium realm, it's not like super effervescent. Um, wow, lots of like doughy bread uh, malt coming through. There is a kick from the, uh, from the hops. A little bit of that kind of uh, lemon-esque type note with, with the uh, herbal spice, tail end herbal spice, and that's what it kind of left with uh, for the bittering effect. There is kind of a mild bitterness to this. Um, and uh, yeah, it's definitely got that, that kind of noble spice going for it. They must have loaded this thing up with, with hops, with sass. Yeah, doughy, bready. Almost, almost to the point of biscuity, but kind of uh, falls into cracker-esque afterwards. You get, you get all the, the wonderful, um, it's crying right now. Uh, you get all the wonderful uh, flavors from those hops. Saz really, really shining through. I mean, Magnum's basically being used as a bittering hop, so I'm not sure how much Magnum actually went into this, but damn. Not too many beers that uh, use Saz that actually you get this much flavor from. They're, they're usually very lightly portrayed. In a, in a beer like this and this one is is not that light on the flavor all right i am going to put down a score for this one i'll be right back okay i'm back didn't take long at all did it um this beer i'm just gonna say right now is one of the best uh, American Pilsners I've had. Uh, I mean, I would even go into the Czech style Pilsners and say this one is one of the better flavored ones out of that bracket as well. This thing is full of flavor. It's well well blended with the malts. It's well blended with the hops going on. Um, and there's enough of those hops. They they give really nice flavor notes. This is. This is a good, crisp, kind of clean um, profile to it, as far as like the water and everything else going on. But plenty of that bready, doughy uh, character from the malt and the hops are just coming through nice. But uh, the appearance on this thing is wonderful as well. Uh, six out of six for the appearance. The aromatics on it were fantastic. Uh, when you can pick up on the malt notes and the, and the hops and stuff coming through like that, uh, fantastically done. Um, it's going to get that 10 out of 10 for the aromatics. The flavors on this, I mean, everything's just there. It's, it's full of flavor, full of fruit flies. Um, 19 out of 19 for the flavor score on this pills. Uh, the body on it, it's nice. I mean, could it be a little bit lighter? It could be, but it works. It still kind of has that crisp, crispness to it, um, refreshing even though it kind of seems to almost lean into that kind of medium body, like light to light medium. Five out of five for the body. My overall for this, this is a fantastic Pilsner. Um, 12 packs of this would be fantastic. 30 packs of this would be even better if they could do that. Um, this would be this would be an everyday, an everyday drinker for me. 
especially over any of the adjunct loggers and stuff out there. Um, this is this is really good though. So 10 out of 10, and uh, that leaves only one thing: uh, Lithermans Limited and the pills to pay the bills. American Pilsner gets a bumpy 50 out of 50. This is an excellent, world-class beer. Uh, any Pilsner drinkers out there, anybody that drinks, uh, you know, any of the the big three or whatever, um, it, or if you really like uh, German craft type beers, lagers, um, Czech style Pilsner, I, I mentioned that. Uh, give this one a go if you can get your hands on it. Uh, fantastic. Just really, really well made. So cheers. Thank you all for watching.